Hey everyone, it is me, TNTN, and I have another Let's Play. You guys may have been expecting a tutorial, but I actually did a poll a while ago saying, do you guys want me to do tutorials or Let's Plays from now on? Because Let's Plays are really, really hard for me. And it was 50-50. But I, I think that I should get a boat, and I really don't like tutorials. So, yeah, tutorials are out. I am very sorry if any of you guys are disappointed. If you guys really want tutorials again, just go in the comments and spam and be like super upset with me. Uh, but anyway, if uh, well, let's just get on with this let's play. So a few things. Uh, first of all, uh, as I said last uh, let's play, we were going to make an elevator from here all the way down there. But I realized that we should probably get everything set up first and then make the elevator. And that way we can also make a way so that we, the only people that I want to have access to this uh, farm, I can like give them a special book or something named, a special item that's named. And they have to use that to get in and down uh, and use the elevator basically. And I think that'd be really useful because uh, I would I would let everyone use this farm, but me and Rash are going to make a rocket shop out of this and sell really cheap rockets so that Die Kick do not does not have even one more uh, item that everyone's buying from him. So that's the plan, and that's why I have to close it off from the public. But if our rocket shop goes down or something, then I will let everyone use it. By the way, the Secret Santa uh, with that paper, that was Rash Saturn who gave that to us. And he said that, yeah, he's going to give me 150 diamonds, basically. He does not have uh, the diamonds yet. Basically, he's going to go for a 24-hour stream, I believe, on New Year's Day. So I'm going to leave a link in the description. Oh, by the way, and on New Year's Day, that stream, he's going to be mining a lot and doing some really cool stuff, too. So I'm going to leave a link in the description to his video, uh, to his Twitch channel. And that way you guys can go and check him out on New Year's and come hang out at the stream a little bit. It's 24 hours, so I mean, like, you guys can probably find some sort of time to go and check it out. Uh, I'm not completely positive he's doing it still, but he probably is, so yeah, we'll see about it. And I'll let you guys, I'll keep you guys updated. But anyway, what am I doing? <laughs> so I made this nice big square, and this is, I do believe, the middle of where our creeper farm is going to be going. So basically, that diamond shape that you see, we're, we're going to have to recreate that gigantic coal. So we're at level 31. we got to bring it down to level 7. If you guys saw my video last time, you guys may have seen the end where I said that. Uh, but anyway... We gotta make it here. <laughs> so, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be interesting. And it's gonna be brutal. But hopefully, hopefully we can make it. So, back to Rash. He said uh, that he'll give me 150 diamonds. And basically, we made a deal that instead, he only pays me 100 diamonds. But he helps me massively on this farm, and when I say massively, I mean he's going to help me a lot with the digging. <laughs> so, I think that we're going to give him a little bit of help, though, and we're going to start just, just a little bit. We're not going to go too big, though. So, this is going to be the top layer, and I didn't do much, but basically I just dug down a little bit so that Rash will know where he's digging, because he's probably going to be doing most of this. I'm sorry, Rash. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, so basically we're going to obviously cover the top off, so don't worry about that. Uh, but he will basically just like come down here and we'll close this off and he's just going to dig all of this out. It's going to be crazy. Hopefully he enjoys digging. Uh, but luckily he can take any diamonds that he finds. Of course, he'll probably be giving me those diamonds because he owes me like a hundred and... Uh, yeah, 100. So, I mean, yeah. Uh, but anyway, let's move on to the next thing I want to get done. 
So the project that I want to start today is a hidden entrance. And this is going to be hiding a bunch of farms that we're going to be making. And we're going to put it right here. So what I'm thinking is just a very, very simple, uh, either like this block is pulled down, pulled by piston. So either you drop down or this opens up. I don't know yet, uh, but I know it's going to be powered by a torch, a redstone torch key. So let's just get right on into making this thing. All right, so here we go. Now if we place down our torch right there, it gets moved so that we can grab it back. And I believe that we're gonna drop down about right here. So we just go here, grab it, and drop down. So if we look under here, what you'll see is two pistons and you'll also see a tiny tiny bit of redstone so basically you put the torch there powers this uh, pushes this down that gets powered which powers this which powers this which powers this which powers that piston up there uh, which unpowers that piston up there which breaks the torch which unpowers that and basically all this gets unpowered which powers back that piston and yeah so it's kind of complicated in a weird way uh, but anyway that's really all there is to it and we get a redstone output right here so if we bring this uh, actually I don't really want to bring it around but basically this will definitely get a small little opening so what we're going to do now is we're going to go grab some comparators and we're going to basically make the signal uh, a little bit longer that way we have time to go and sneak under our little um our little secret area so i have no idea why but basically if we put these two repeaters here and the redstone output is coming from here and you place that block right there basically it will extend a redstone signal a much much longer time so if we just like do this and that now all of a sudden it lasts way way longer so what we're going to do now is we're going to put that into a little drop down piston action stuff. <laughs> so this is actually what we have right now. So we will be falling down right here and we place the torch right there. So basically, um, this is how it works. This has to be powered for it to be up. So when it's powered, this is uh, hard powered, which also powers this, which powers this block, which powers both these. Uh, 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 pistons and then honestly I'm still trying to figure out how this guy down here is trying to be powered because if we take this out what wait yeah see so this is obviously important I just don't know how but basically this is how you do it and then we're going to basically just hook up a redstone torch right underneath here and then we're going to just have that loop around, that signal loop around, and come over here. Alright, so now just pretend that I'm just passing by. Ooh, whoa, whoa, what's that? Oh, beacon, nice. Oh, that's boring. But really, we head over here and grab our, our torch. We just place this right here. We get it back, and we fall into here. And that's it. And then we'll also have it... Uh, so that we fall back down then I'm gonna have a slime launcher that will launch us back up all right so this is what we have now so if we just place the torch right here then we hop down into here and then uh, the only problem is I have to have this button so when it's pressed basically it will launch us uh, they will open the door and also launch us out of here because right now it's not really working <laughs> All right, so check this out. If we place down this redstone torch, whoop, okay, I messed up a little bit. I forgot to go grab it. But if we place it down, we'll get it back. We fall down here, and then I fix stuff up. So like I was saying, place down your torch, get it back, hop down here, and it closes up right like that. And then we'll replace this with terracotta a little bit later. But right, uh, right now, uh, that's not going to happen because I actually don't know how to make glazed terracotta. So, <laughs> got to figure that out. But anyway, if we press this button, we shoot shot right up to the top and we're all good to go. So, yeah. Now, oops, now it's time for the next part. Alright, so I figured out how to make glazed terracotta and we're using black. And I decided I want this to be kind of like 
dark and mysterious uh, place under there. So I think we're going to have the whole floor dark glazed terracotta. I don't know why, but I feel like that'd be nice. So if we head down now, you can see that we have this little place. And I feel like I might have it all lit up by redstone torches. We just have to make sure that nothing spawns. Yeah, they do not produce much light. So if we're here... Oh, wow. Yeah, no, never mind. We have to use real torches. That's too bad, but uh, we have to do what we gotta do. So, uh, But anyway, this is what it looks like right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically make this look a lot better. Alright, so here we are. If we get out our torch. Oh, I can stack those buckets. <laughs> and we place it right here. We get it back and we fall. Then if we face this direction, I didn't bring it out too far, but we're going to bring it out much farther. You guys can see that we light this, light this place up with lava, and I'm going to change these walls up. They're going to hopefully look really cool, and I'm, I'm starting to like it. So the plan is I'll probably... No, I don't think I fit anything in there. So I think that the plan will be then that we'll try to make something like in this area right here, in this area right here. And then we'll go forward a little bit and make another area. And this is going to be all our farms if I didn't already say that. So like a chicken farm and like uh, a melon and pumpkin and stuff like that. It's all going to be pretty small farms, but hopefully all of them working together will be pretty awesome. And then we just press this and we hop right on out. And also I went kind of mining. Well, actually more cave exploring. Basically, I just, um, I was looking for lava, and I went down to the mines, and I got a bunch of coal, and it's very fun, because we have this thing in our server, where if you crouch and break, break an ore, then it breaks them all at once for you. Now, some may say this is cheating, and that's what I did, and I didn't like this at first at all, but it grew, it grew on me a lot, because I'm not really cheating at all. Uh, and it's just making things go a lot faster. So, it's really fun to make a big stack and then take out a fortune pick and then crouch and break them all at once and voila! <laughs> I'm rich with coal! Anyway, I'm going to go put this all in our shulker boxes and just clean up my inventory a little bit. So this is the design that we're going to use for the pumpkin farm because uh, it's tileable, or, right? Wait, tileable? Uh, uh, well, it can go, like, right next to each other, and it can go on for as long as you want. So, this is where the stem would be, and when the stem actually grows a melon, it actually changes, uh, and this, that change will be detected by this observer, which will hard power this block, which will make these guys power right here, and these guys will power these pistons. So, if I place a block, those two pistons, uh, the two pistons go. It's not a big deal that both of them go as long as it gets harvested. So that's where, how it's going to work and what we're going to be using. So I think I'm just going to set this one up and then call it a episode. And then we will finish it off next episode. Alright, so now for the finishing touches. So if we just pop on down here, like so, did get hurt a little bit. Uh, all we have to do now is we have to place a chest. Ooh, ooh, I might want to bring this back a little bit, and also I want to fill in that hole. Okay, actually give me one minute. Alright, so it's fine, I'll just have the chest in the middle, it's not a big deal. I'm not really going for looks here, I'm going for just creepy, oh, that is looks. No. No, I just jumped on it. Ugh, at least I have one more left, but that was like the one that was getting, like, that grew. Anyway, uh, so basically, I, I, I'm missing one hopper. I'll have to go grab one. Uh, but all of these will be funneled into this chest right here. And on the other side, on the other side, we're going to make melons. But sadly, that's all I have time for today. So if you guys enjoyed this, oh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also, if you want to see more videos like this, then please subscribe to my channel. I want to make this my career in making video guys, making videos for you guys. So please hit that subscribe button if you guys want me to continue making these. But that, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.